Hey, what's up, guys? So we're at Village Grill real quick. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about what's been going on this week. Last week when I was at my old high school, I was doing squats. And on my last set, I felt some type of hardness or kind of like my leg got real tight and um, started to kind of pull a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and just call it a day right there. I was on my last working set anyway. Um, everything felt fine. And then about two hours later, I started to have pretty severe pain in my quad and then um, swelling started to happen. As the days have gone by, I have, this, it's got worse, it hasn't gotten better. Um, so I decided yesterday to go ahead and go get an MRI. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take the camera in there, but I've uh, strained three of my quad muscles. Um, we're looking anywhere from two to three weeks recovery time, but that's okay, because we're five weeks out from the comp. The only thing it's gonna affect, is gonna affect my training. Um, I can't do any type of heavy squats at all for the next couple weeks. Um, I'll show you my leg. It's uh, it's beat up. It's healing a little bit. But as of right now, it's kind of what we're sitting at right now is all this bruising is going on. Rehab with Dr. Huff, trying to push a lot of the swelling and everything out of the leg. But I mean, honestly, the training hasn't is not going to stop. We're still going to train. We're on deload week this week. So it's a good week to actually get injured, I guess, because it's light stuff all week. We just got to take it easy these next couple weeks on this leg and try to just rehab it and uh, get it to heal well. Um, we're flying out to Florida tomorrow uh, for some business stuff. Um, you guys will be coming along with that and uh, we'll be doing some training out there as well. And just because I got a banged up leg, that doesn't mean I'm not going to train. We got deadlifts tonight. All right. So I know you guys all saw Casey mess up his quad. Uh, MRI results showed uh, he strained all three of his quad muscles. Uh, so we're going to be doing some edema control on today, keeping everything extremely light um, because it's extremely fragile right now because he doesn't know how to slow down. So uh, we're going to get him taken care of and then he's going to head on out. Oh, I'm too bad. This is starting to feel quite a bit better overall. Well, it's because I have to sleep on my back. <laughs> Good. See what I did that shit with on my arm? What? A roll a roller like that on my arm? Yeah, I did actually. Oh my god. <laughs> Worst pain. I'm gonna cut the gear. Alright, so if you look over right now, he's pulling off some rock tape on his leg. Um, the reason why we have the rock tape on there to begin with is because when he tore all three of his quads, it led to some massive hematomas, lots and lots of swelling. Uh, so we're immediately jumping on top trying to get that edema under control because the longer that swelling sits, the more complicated things will get. You'll lead to increased um, risk of embolisms, you know, strokes, things like that, clots floating around. Um, so, you know, you want to get that edema out of there quick and you don't want to let it be stagnant. So what we're starting right now is uh, some effilage. Uh, essentially, we're pushing the edema nice and slowly uh, towards the heart. Um, we're essentially just trying to capture all the swelling of the skin and scoop it up <sighs> forward. Um, this is great for getting the swelling out, which is going to help with pain control for him, especially because uh, all this is hard as a rock. How's the pressure around it? Not as bad? It's not as bad right there. It's just on the inside, it feels like that cutting, mm -hmm. like that slicing. I'm going to try and capture everything around it and kind of <sighs> open it up. See if that helps first. Oh, f oh is there somebody in here? Sorry. <laughs> this is probably for your lateral and your medial. Yeah, right there where you just touched. Right there? Yeah. Oh, that's the tearing part. Oh. Oh.
What's up guys? Just got done training. Went straight from Dr. Hell, AKA Dr. Huff. And uh, y'all saw what he was doing on me there. That was miserable, uh, but it's all beneficial. Uh, what you saw, there was no scraping going on. That was literally just him pushing the fluid out of my quad, uh, trying to get all the swelling that we can and uh, hematomas that I have. I have like, looks like three hematomas in my quad. And we're trying to get rid of those. So we're just basically pushing those out. He wasn't like really scraping. He was just using that tool to push stuff out. So uh, it made me feel a little nauseous, a little sick because of all the toxins that are going into my body from that. But we still got to train as deload week. So you definitely have to train during deload week. I'm not one of the ones that likes to just like take the week off. Um, I am dealing, like I said, with my quad trains. So I can't squat, but the doc did say that I can deadlift based off of pain tolerance um, on my quad. Um, and that's because I'm not flexing the quad when I deadlift. So um, today, if you've seen, it's mostly looks like I'm using just a lot of my back and hips, which is most of the time what I do any damn way because of my range of motion problems. But um, I was only supposed to do 365, but the training has been up and down this week and I just needed some volume work uh, and I needed just like a, a, a mental check for me. So we did at the end like final set was 405 and I did it for 10 and it felt good, it felt fast, uh, everything felt good. And like I said, I'm still using a lot of back mostly, no legs really. So um, felt good. Uh, today I had to rock the overcome shirt, you know, because we're overcoming an obstacle right now. Here's my meat and I swear I'm going to be at this meet unless I just blow my whole leg off. I'll be competing at this. It's something that I've been working at for a year, you know, and uh, a little quad strain ain't gonna stop me. So uh, today, just push myself just as hard as I do any other day training with the pain, just get through it and train around it. And uh, the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna just sit around. You know, you're gonna get, you're gonna lose strength really, really quick. So uh, the main thing is to stay active. And, uh, and then when you're done, you know, obviously, ice, heat, and a lot of good rehab. Um, that's just natural, even if you're healthy, you know, train hard, rehab good, you know, and so uh, that's what I'm doing right now. And so uh, got it over with. It's been a good week. We're not even done yet. We head out to Florida tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, like I said, this quad kind of sucks, but we still got to go. Uh, this has been something that's been in the works and I'm excited to take you guys with us to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're here, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Long flight yesterday, uh, but we're here finally. It's first thing in the morning, we gotta eat. But I wanna tell you a little bit about this weekend. We're here because uh, I had a gentleman that called me, got a hold of me and said, hey, you know, there's something I want you to be a part of. Let's fly you out here, let's talk business, and let me show you what I'm trying to bring to the table. So we're here with Kevin from Fit Monster, the, uh, the creator of it, basically, and so, uh, we're gonna talk about what this is and hopefully give this to, this a great uh, opportunity or the tool to the world kind of here. And we're also gonna hit some fucking iron. You guys see he's a big ass boy. So uh, we gotta hit some iron while we're here. So what's up, Kevin? Happy to have you here, what's bro. up, man? So tell them a little bit about Fit Monster, man. Well, first of all, I'm really excited to, to train with you later. Uh, I've looked forward to that for a long time. Uh, but basically what Fit Monster is, it's a technology it's a business development tool that's going to really help personal trainers worldwide in every country of the world grow their personal training business. Uh, we're going to be able to have a lot of tools like replicated website, auto-responded email, and even help a lot of personal trainers even accept forms of different forms of payment. So we're really excited. We're hoping to launch soon. Um, and a lot of the trainers out there, uh, we're going to have KC select a few trainers to take part of the beta testing and uh, we'll help you grow your business. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit, we talked at dinner last night, so, I mean, it sounds pretty, pretty like state of the art, like it, it'll work for almost anybody, basically, from from a, uh, from just a, a, a personal trainer to like a coach, a football coach or something like that. And uh, from what some of the names, I know we're not gonna say some of the names, but you have some big name athletes out there that are gonna be using this and, uh, and uh, pushing this out there as well. And so, uh, I mean, it's pretty exciting. I'm excited because like I said, just a little bit we discussed last night, sounds like a great tool and it can be used literally you know uh, by anybody so um, we're gonna go eat 
I'm stoked to do talk more business and uh, train, obviously. And uh, Florida's beautiful right now. Can't get too much better than this. And we're gonna be on the beach, so training right on a rooftop. So it's gonna be exciting. So appreciate it. Ready? Yep. Let's do work. Let's do it. All right. What's up guys? So epic chest session. I'm having cramps the whole entire time right now as I was trying to get dressed, but now we're gonna have some dinner. Uh, this is the point where I'm gonna go do the business meeting part. Um, unfortunately, you guys won't get to be a part of that, but uh, hopefully we'll get to explain more and hopefully like everything gets together to where um, I'm a part of this and uh, I'm pushing all this out to you guys. So we're gonna go meet Kevin right now with Fit Monster, have dinner, talk business, have a couple beers and uh, we'll be training again tomorrow morning. So let's go eat. Yo, 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 this MP has been easy. Je suis un lion, je marche pas, je dors pas, je mange pas avec les cons. Non, non, j'ai l'air d'avoir idiot sur mon front. Yo, there's, there's probably, most likely, 
catacombs all around the United States, catacombs all around the world, bones and skulls, I mean, all around the world, tunnels going from Eastern Hemisphere all the way to the Vatican, Vatican all the way to other places. Because Italy rules this world, and a lot of people rule the world, and there's tunnels going all throughout the world, underground, and that's about that. And that, I'm out. And so, and so, but like, what, what lives underground? There are people, mm -hmm. and there are aliens on seven. There's a seventh level that they do transformation of aliens and animals and weird ass shit that I don't even want to know about. Mm -hmm. And on the fifth level is where they live. The greys live. They're called greys. Mm -hmm. And then there's other aliens, but there's so many aliens, man. We're not usually talking about civilization on hip planet Earth. Like Anunnaki, Anunnaki, that word, that's where Lucifer, Satan comes from. Planet living on planet Nebru, where their their family, their uh, their symbol is the cross, and that's where they come from. They and they and they create Adam and Eve. That's where Adam and Eve comes from. Adam and Eve comes from where? From Anunnaki, creating Adam and Eve, and then they say in the Holy Bible, they created by God created that, but God was. It, another being and God is life God was not given life God is life itself just get that straight and uh, in Oxygen events he's not so sing on Konkak so you're pretty passionate about this I can tell I am very I, I'm very I am are you, is this off or no yeah is that off Hey, what's up guys? So we're here at the Foundry in Pompano Beach, Florida with the owner, Mr. Greco, has won the California State, right? Before? Correct, correct, correct. And uh, now he lives here in uh, Florida and he owns this amazing restaurant. And it just happened to be a coincidence that we came here and I got to meet you. Yes. I mean, I've heard about you before. Yeah. And yeah. so it's just crazy to come here. And well, so, uh, the pleasure is mine. Oh, no, appreciate and it. Casey, yeah, it's, yeah. it's awesome to, yeah. to have you here in, yeah. in our little town of Pompano yeah. Beach. And uh, yes, uh, the good old days of uh, working out in California yeah. <laughs> and bodybuilding. And we had a moment earlier and chatted uh, yeah. about our friends that we know. Yeah. And, uh, and about who's going to win the and Olympia. I know who's going to win Mr. <laughs> Olympia. Yeah. Uh, I'm not actually sure, but. Yeah. Um, ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, but uh, I, I, you know, we're, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week as well. Yeah, I'll be there. I mean, I'll be there. You'll be there, and uh, I mean, we'll finally get to see who's going to win yeah, this thing. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin Lavrone's it back in town yeah, and Kevin doing some Lavrone, work. He's looking good. He looks he's good. He does. Good. And, uh, I mean, it's impressive for his age, regardless of how the outcome is. Man, you know, you know? he's like the guy's 52 years yeah, old. It looks amazing. You know, so it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. But I think uh, Phil Heath brings in the package, and you know Dexter Jackson. Dexter, yeah. We talked about yeah. it. He mean the razor. Uh, yeah. and, uh, he looks unbelievable. He always so does. I don't we, think he ages. We got some. We got some. Some good people. I'm just so happy that this sport. Yeah. You know, from 1979, here we are. You know, in 2016, yeah. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's still alive and is doing well. And yeah. and there's good people like yourself no, that sure. are uh, you. uh, bringing good things to what we do. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I just, I got into it honestly after. Um, uh, getting wounded and everything like that. It was a the weight room came like re rehabilitation and a yeah. place for me to just let go, you know. And and then uh, you get into it. And there's some really good people, man. And they, I mean, thank you to us, but thank you for building this foundation for us to do. I mean, thank you so much, guys. Like, yeah, I mean, and you're still doing great things. It looks like so. Well, you know, we're <laughs> happy, and it's funny enough that the uh, you know the the foundry restaurant is really built around steel. Right. So right. For whatever reason, steel has been surrounded my whole is. life. That's it. Yeah. So <laughs> that works out. Hey, no joke, no joke. I said this, and that's not because the camera's on. I told you, that if you ever come here, get the T-bone steak. It's literally one of the best T-bone steaks I've ever. I was, I don't. Every time I take a bite, I would like talk about it. It was that good. And uh, so, if you're ever here in Florida, you guys got to come here. Very classy, but very edgy and just like relaxing restaurant. I mean, it's it's awesome. And so, thank you for having us. Thank you so we had much. A blast. Such a pleasure having yeah, you thank here. You. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.
Hey, what's up guys? So, just got done training at Miami Iron. Pretty badass little gym. Uh, first time coming here. I've heard a lot of good stories about it. Um, it's awesome in there. I mean, as you guys seen, you know, great equipment, um, great little vibe in there. I like that whole like dark style of training. Um, killed, killed back. Uh, put some people through a back workout that they're not used to. And um, I mean, it was epic. Good back pump. I mean, the thing is what we were doing in there is talking, the guy that you guys seen that I was working out with, he's a power lifter, um, but looks like a bodybuilder. And that's what me and him got into talking about was, that's the new, that's gonna be the new power lifting, like, physique, I guess you could say, you know? It's, we're, people need to get away from thinking that powerlifters are these obese, fat guys, you know? That's not what it is, it's a sport, we're athletes, and uh, you should be one. And so that's, if you notice, most of these big names that are coming through are very aesthetic guys, you know? And so that's what we're trying to bring. So therefore, you power lift, but you also train like a bodybuilder, you eat, you know, like an athlete, um, and all of that will make you a better uh, uh, power lifter. And so that's what we're trying to do, and that's what we did today. Like I said, it's my deload week this week anyway. So during my deload, I do add, like you've seen, um, volume, deadlifts, or something like that. But then we go straight into um, accessory work, and uh, some of the accessory work is heavy, um, but we're chasing the pump. You know, we keep everything above 10 plus reps. I mean, there were some things in there we did for 30 reps today, and uh, that's what you want to do. You want to create, you want muscle breakdown, slamming blood into the body, and uh, breaking the muscle down so it can grow. And uh, that's just going to help you out overall. And so, uh, epic workout. Right next door, some donuts. So we're going to go over there and eat some donuts, even though I just got done talking about nutrition. Every once in a while, you have to treat yourself to something good. So I haven't eaten today, and I got to eat something, so we're going to go have some donuts right now. Ooh, one of everything. We're about to put the hurting on right now. This is the uh, Chris Getchen uh, DTP workout style, basically. A um, little bit of a, a variety mix up compared to what's on his um, uh, website. Uh, but I've done a, D a buy and try DTP workout with Chris and um, it's absolutely horrible. Jacob, uh, you know, and it's, uh, it's a lot of reps, and uh, it's brutal how hard and how intense this is. Destruction forces grow. Down and up, easy way, go. All right, so that's one workout <laughs> of the three that we're doing. Enough talking, we're losing the pump. Let's go hit these cables. Long try. 
So we're gonna finish this off with um, two sets of negatives, curls and uh, tricep extensions. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add really, really heavy weight. My training partner is gonna help me for curls, get the weight to the top, and I'm gonna fight the weight as it goes down. And when the key is, is to not allow the weight to go down very fast. You wanna control it going down. And uh, as pumped as our arms are, it's gonna feel like the muscle's just tearing off the bone. Kind of showed him of uh, basically what I'm going to be doing for his uh, business, Fit Monster, is uh, trying to come up with training programs to train trainers and uh, give trainers different ideas and uh, different ways of training people. And uh, today, this was a workout that I learned from a very well-known guy, Chris Gethin. Um, it's his DTP arm workout. Um, so you know, this is something that is out there. It's been passed on to me because I've been through the training with him with it. I understand it. And um, we want to. The goal is to help everybody and fit, you know that's into that that wants to learn fitness or just become healthier um, you know young guys you know they when you're entering the gym you know I get a lot of people that'll sit there and they don't understand they don't know where to start they don't have the guidance they're nervous um, and so uh, that's what this this website is gonna do it's gonna provide a service of a trainer that you can find 
that will guide you and help you. So when you come into the gym, you know what you're gonna do, you know how many sets, you know how many reps, you know the stretching, you know the nutrition, and uh, and that's what we did today. And I wanted to show him one of the workouts that, you know, basically that I'll be providing for the company as well. I really look forward to this, man. I mean, um, the one thing that I enjoy doing is helping people. And uh, this is gonna give me a really good opportunity to help people. Yeah. I'm lucky I'm not being carried out of here right now. <laughs> Chris, wherever you are, I'm coming for you, I guess. <laughs> I'll be in trouble when I get there, but, uh, but I'm hurting now. Yeah. So. It was good, and I appreciate you sharing that information with us. And I think that's that's what we're doing. We're going to bring world class training and coaching, and it's going to be at a click of a button. But you can sit at home, you know, get on your computer, find a trainer you want, uh, get a program from them, and then uh, when you head out, you just pick up your phone, and uh, the Fit Monster app will be right on your phone, and you're able to access your workout, um, access your trainer, all from your phones. It's going to provide everything you need to become a better version of yourself. Absolutely. You know? And if you're a trainer out there, it's going to really help you grow your business. It's a, it's a true development tool for you to grow your business. Uh, we've even created relationships with uh, health companies to where all of our people are going to be able to go and have their blood work done worldwide. The trainer's going to be able to get back the information and actually be able to talk intelligently about each client and use biomarkers of their blood to be able to get put together a proper fitness and nutrition. Right. And a lot of trainers fall short in that mm -hmm. because if you're not chemically in order to be able to build lean muscle or your metabolism isn't functioning properly, then you're going to be wasting your time in the gym. Yeah. And so exactly. we've actually created a technology and relationships that people are going to be able to have their blood drawn first so where each tra each Fit Monster trainer knows where their client stands That's right. and build their, their uh, build their uh, program off of that. So like I said, this is just a this is one little piece of a whole pie that you're gonna get to have to uh, uh, one, become a great trainer, two, to become a great person from a trainer, you know? Uh, and uh, I'm excited about it. Like I said, it's, it's every tool that you're gonna need and uh, if you're a beginner into the fitness industry or, uh, or, or in the fitness period, it's great. And if you're an expert, there's going to be a trainer out there that probably knows something that you don't. So you're going to be able to learn from another trainer and, um, and, and get different aspects and, uh, and, and really just build yourself because uh, you're going to get to learn more. And um, I mean, like I said, I, I've been doing this for a while now and, I'm, and I know guys that are still, you know, you're 50 years old and you've never done a DTP workout like that. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. you've been around for that long and, yeah. and that's the thing. It's uh, uh, the, the good thing about the fitness is it's always evolving. There's always new things coming in and uh, there's always room for every single person as a trainer, as an athlete or as a person to grow. And uh, that's what this, I know that this website's going to provide for everybody. So you guys be ready for this. And you all know me. If I thought it was bullshit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be preaching it. So uh, it's real. It's going to be awesome. And uh, I, I'm very, very excited to be a part of this. Right. Mm -hmm. The, the one thing I like to do is help people. Everybody knows that. Uh, I've had a lot of help for myself from people in the fitness industry. And uh, uh, what goes around comes around. And sometimes it's time to give back. And, I, and that's what I want to do is I just want to constantly give back, you know. And, um, uh, and I feel like I'm going to be able to really help people do that with this website. So We're excited I'm ready to, to rock and roll. Team, I'm ready sure. to rock and roll, man. All right. All right, good. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap here in Florida. We train at some of the baddest gyms here in Florida. And... Uh, and the leg's healing up. We're getting better on the leg, guys. If you didn't notice, I'm walking better. Everything's getting better. Four weeks out, and I'm coming for that platform. So uh, we're out of here, heading home. It's time to get back on that powerlifting grind when I get back, though. See you guys later.